Yo, what's up, dudes? What's up? Uh, I thought I would come on and do a, a better and more uh, complete <clears throat> uh, video about this guitar here, which is a, it, it's a hybrid, it's a mongrel, uh, you have a um, 83 body, uh, paired with an 86 neck, the the body <clears throat> is undoubtedly because it's an 83, made by sports, um, out of uh, Connecticut, and uh, the neck is undoubtedly made by um, ESP. And it's actually got some nice figuring to it. One of the three pieces is plain, but the other two have, uh, one's a little flamey, and the other one's got a lot of, like, you know, bird's eyes in it. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, it looks, looks great. <laughs> Uh, the body is most likely alder. Uh, I've been looking at it. Uh, to be honest, it's a little light. It could very well be poplar. They were also using poplar. And it even could be maple, but it feels a little light for maple. But you never know. <laughs> they were using a lot of woods back then. Um, the pickups are... Uh, this one is uh, a Demarcio Super Distortion. And this one is stock. It's just the... <laughs> The stock shower. I think it sounds great. So, um, this this is really a uh, it's Bobby's guitar. And this is really um, like a, a tribute to a guitar that we both owned back in the 80s. I owned it first, and I sold it to him. And it's, uh, you know, basically a uh, exactly that. It was an 83 or an 84 body. I think mine was an 84. Spring of 84, I got mine brand new at EU World, sir, on Newbury Street in Boston. And then um, I really hated the neck. It was that very limited window when they had the really wide neck. It went way up in width, and um, you either loved it or you hated it, and I, and I hated it. Uh, so th this they eventually went to this, which is a much uh, slimmer design. Uh, it's something I was a little bit more comfortable with. Uh, but for a little, a little while there, there were those what they call the boat bottom necks, because they were so wide, they had to flatten the bottom out, and you wouldn't get your hand around it. Yeah, but probably a reaction to sort of the neoclassical. Um, from 81 to 85, according to VintageKramer.com, uh, Sports makes all the bodies. Um, the bodies are most likely sent to, in fact, I'm pretty sure they were sent to Kramer, you know, as bare wood. And Kramer would finish it. And this diamond coat, you know, at this stage anyway. Now, in a few years, when ESP is doing it, I don't know if Kramer's still painting them there, or if, um, you know, uh, if they're being painted by uh, ESP. You know, Kramer had the painting down, so I wouldn't doubt if they were being painted at, uh, at Kramer still. But um, more and more things are being handed off to ESP. And this is a transition, so this ESP neck <clears throat> has the, the point... But it has the small block inlay, right? Uh, that was a very little window in time. So the small block inlay was for the uh, the hockey the hockey stick head, right? The banana head stock, whatever you want to call it. Um, that was like '84, and maybe like a little bit of '85. Then Jackson and Charvel, the pointy head, were getting real popular. 
Kramer felt the need to switch from a rounded headstock to a pointed one, and um, this was the this was the new headstock. Uh, for a little while, I think they might have tried. And it may have only been with the, um, you know, with the not with the the pointy, but with the uh, the rounded. Is they tried a um, a scarf joint, but they they didn't glue it properly, and it was a problem. Uh, I think it was maybe a year or two later. Um, Ibanez did the same thing, glued it perfectly, and there was never a problem. <laughs> but there was some lingering, I think, worry about scarf joints at the time when that Ibanez, when all those RGs came out, we were like, what? Scarf joint? What? But I still have my Ibanez for 30 years, and it still works. So they, they, they figured it out. Um, this is normally be <clears throat> a volume, volume tone, master tone, and in individual volumes, of course, being the bridge and the, the neck. <clears throat> but Bobby rewired it to be a tone for the neck and I think a tone for the bridge, or maybe vice versa. Let's, let's find out. Nope, all right, so tone for the bridge. Down here, tone for the neck right there. And then a master volume. Of course, the other big selling point at the time was the Floyd Rose Tremolo, and uh, Kramer had the exclusive. I think it was on like 98% of their guitars, like 90% of their guitars at one point. Um, <clears throat> they really, Kramer was Floyd Rose, pretty much. They Every guitar, they, you know, not every, but 9 out of 10 <laughs> had a Floyd Rose on it, and um and for good reason, you know what? It, 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 at the time, it was it was just groundbreaking. Uh, you know, we we were dealing with, uh, you know, we were dealing with the guitars that went out of tune uh, pretty quickly, and uh, this, you know, this whole system was like a godsend. So, um, uh, you know, most of us were pretty happy about the about the Floyd Rose system uh, when it came out. <clears throat> it. Uh, you know, it, it, it finally solved the problem of, of, of using the tremolo bar and having your system go out of tune. And, you know, there'll always be someone who swears that, you know, they have a strat that stays in perfect tune. I can hit it all day long, never goes out of tune. That's not true. Um, you know, it might be pretty good most of the time, but they just, the you know, you lock it right here. And you lock it right there, and there's just no place for the string to go. And it just, the system works. And it's why so many people tried to copy it and, and couldn't. Floyd was really good about protecting his um, patents. And uh, that's why you see so many licensed by Floyd Rose out there. Because, uh, you know, he, he'd license it to you, but you just couldn't copy it. He would, it'd be all over you, you know. <laughs> Let's, um, I think I have a clean patch pretty close to this patch, like right next door, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good.
think I have one here. Little, um... Hmm. Where is it in the chair? Hmm. Oh, it's right there. I just want to bring that delay level down a little bit. Anyway, there you have it. 83 Kramer Pacer Imperial. Modified with an 86 neck. And uh, DiMarzio Super Distortion in the bridge. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't know how much of that you can see. All right, dudes, <clears throat> there you have it. As always, thanks so much for stopping by, and rock on.